Hi everyone, my name is Princess Lakani. So, I will discuss about long division. So, before that, let's have some review. So, we have three types of sign that we can identify that the given equation is division. The first one is the division sign, the second one is the fraction line, and the third one is the long division sign. Let's start our lesson. So, let's have an example. We have 4x squared plus 3 divided by x plus 2. Ano ang inyong napapansin? Tama, ito ay hindi pa nakaayos sapagkat sa long division, kailangan nakaayos ang ating dividend from the higher to the lower exponent. So, our dividend will be 4x squared plus 0x plus 3. After we arrange it, transfer the dividend and the divisor to the long division sign. After that, we can now proceed to our solving. Ang una natin gagawin ay i-divide natin ang leading term ng dividend sa leading term ng ating divisor. So that will be 4x squared over x or 4x squared divided by x. That is equal 4x. After that, we will put our answer to the top of the same exponent of the variable. So, we will put the 4x to the top of 0x. The next step, we will multiply the quotient to the divisor. So, that will be 4x multiplied by x plus 2. And the answer is 4x squared plus 8x. Then, we will subtract it to our dividend. So, that will be negative 8x because 4x squared is cancelled out because 4x squared minus 4x squared is equal to 0. So, our answer is negative 8x. Then, bring down positive 3. So, our dividend now is negative 8x plus 3. Let's repeat the process. So, that will become negative 8x divided by x is equal to negative 8. Our quotient is negative 8. And then, negative 8 multiplied the divisor. So, that will become negative 8 multiplied by x plus 2. So, that will become negative 8x minus 16. And then, subtract to the dividend, that will become negative 13. Because negative 8x minus negative 8x is cancelled out. Yung napapansin, ang negative 13 ay hindi na natin may divide sa x. Kaya, it will become our remainder. Our answer will be 4x minus 8 minus 13 over x plus 2.